guys, it's Jilly, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to assemble the Gym Mats Direct Gymnastics Bar. Now, good thing about this bar is that um, it already comes with all of these little pieces, nuts, bolts, screws, little pieces for the ends, and it even comes with a hex wrench and a regular wrench, so you don't have to go digging through all of your toolboxes to find these two little pieces to put together your bar, which I find that very helpful. Now, for you guys that are watching this video on how to assemble it, you should already have all of your pieces that came with it out and ready to start building. So let's go ahead, we're gonna take our little directions, open it, and we're gonna start on our first step. So before I get into assembling my gymnastics bar, I wanna show you guys two things that came with it. So the bar is actually from Gym Mats Direct, and they provide you with a gymnastics bar instruction so you guys know how to put them together. It also comes with this little card where if you have any problems or questions, they give you your contact for Gym Mats Direct's email and also their um, office website. So another pretty cool thing that they provide you with is a card for your two year warranty. Now if you guys ever get a product that offers you a warranty, I suggest to sign up for it because if there's a problem or you have something wrong with your product, then they will go ahead and help you resolve that. Um, and also, if you sign up at their website, they give you a free gift, or you can even scan your QR code to activate it. So that's a pretty cool little thing um, with this gymnastics bar. Now let's go ahead and start actually assembling it. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you the pieces that we got put next to each other. We did not actually assemble them together yet. Just the pieces that are lined up ready to be assembled. So the first piece that you're going to need to find are these thicker pieces that have the curves on the ends. Now, the curves on the bars need to be facing outwards from each other. So not one facing inwards, not one facing outwards. They both have to be facing that way. The second piece that we grabbed for our first part are these little crossbows. You're going to take your bolt, make sure it has the lock washer and the regular washer on the end. And you're just going to slide it through the little holes. They may not all be lined up, so make sure that your poles are lined up. You're going to slide it in. Now you're going to take your larger washer and you're going to just slip it over there. And you're going to take your cap and just twist it on by hand, not too tight. Just twist it on by hand so it's just sitting there and everything's sort of put together. But make sure at the end, before you actually start using your bar, be, remember to take your wrench and your other tools and, to loose, and tighten it. Because if you don't tighten it, it's gonna be very loose and it'll probably fall apart. So that won't be good and it's pretty dangerous. So now let's go ahead, finish up tightening this on and move on to our second step. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you step two and how to put on your side bars. So during shipping, uh, it looks pretty fine. It faces this way, but when you actually go ahead and put it on here, it's facing totally outwards. Now, if you're going to put your bar on, it would literally just go off the gymnastics bar and that makes zero sense. And that's just how they do it for shipping purposes. So this is a pretty easy fix. You're gonna take this and you are going to just press down. I'm pressing down with my foot and you're just gonna pop it out. So now you have just a loose thing and then you have your pole. So you're gonna take it, rotate it as needed, and then you're going to pop it down. I'm gonna grab the side because I don't wanna get pinched. And then you're just gonna push it in so the pink meets with the black. So now both of your bars are actually facing inwards. We're gonna have to use these little nuts and bolts and we're going to do the same thing as we did with the floor. You're gonna screw it off, stick it through, and then put the washer back on again. So let's go ahead and do that step, and we'll go on to step three. All right, guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this little piece, usually looks like this, and you're gonna take off your little cap and put it to the side, and like the other one, you're going to take off one of your washers, and we're gonna use that for the other side. You're gonna line up this little pull piece with the holes at the bottom, and you're going to move it around for a couple seconds and try to get your screw around to the other side. So as much as you can over here. Now, you're gonna take your washer, put it here, try to make sure it doesn't push over to the other side. You're gonna take this, and you are going to screw it on. Now make sure you don't do it too tight with like a wrench or something because as I said earlier, you don't want to have it too tight to the point where you can't ever get it on loose when you're trying to move something. 
but make sure when you are done to go back, actually use a tool to do it because you don't want them to be too loose that when you get on the bar, it falls over and you hurt yourself. All right guys, so we are almost done with putting together our bar, which is pretty exciting because I'm about ready to use this thing. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your actual bar itself, which uh, finally I remembered the word, it is a laminated. <laughs> I couldn't remember that. It's been the longest time and I finally remembered. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this up just a little bit so it's easy. You slide it in there. I'm gonna make sure it's not hitting the other side. And you're just gonna line up the hole so it goes all the way through. Now we're gonna take another one of these pieces. Wow, I guess, I guess the gymnastics bar really likes to use these pieces. I'm gonna take out these, but we don't need these right now so I'm gonna put them on the floor so I don't drop it. <laughs> And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna kind of like maneuver our way into there. It's okay if it shakes. You're just gonna try to get it through there as much as you can. There we go, make sure our washers aren't being too uh, dismantled. <laughs> all right, so now you're gonna take this one like we did on all of the other pieces. So while you're screwing it in, you're actually gonna push down on the top. I'm gonna watch out, there we go. So you're gonna push down on the top while you do that, and then boom. So that is the little piece of your bar, and as I said, do not tighten it all the way. So now we're on the other side of our bar. In order to put this in, you actually have to push this back and then slide it in and maneuver it around a little bit till this hole finally lines up right there. So now we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the other side. Take one off, put it here, and then you're going to slide it in and move it around a little bit until it gets as far as you can into the hole. All right, so as we did earlier, push down on here. So you're gonna put this little piece on and you're gonna get this on here. You're gonna push it down and then after like one turn or two turns, it tightens it. So now you have the bar itself in. All right guys, so we're actually getting to the end of assembling our bar here, but um, you have to put in these little caps at the end of your bar to close it up here. Unfortunately, I cannot do this by hand. You guys could probably find someone who does. So I'm gonna take a rubber mallet and pop it in and make sure it's all in on the front here. And there you go. That's how you put in the side of your bars. All right. Now, we're going to take these two little side pieces and where the little like nut is, bolt, little nut bolt thing, <laughs> you're going to twist them in and these are seem pretty easy, very easy, quickly. Now you're gonna take it here, and you're going to twist it in. My hands are very buttery hands today. Seeing it is Thanksgiving, probably from all the food, my hands are super buttery. <laughs> And there we go. So those are basically how you put in those two side pieces. You could twist them in all the way. And then we have these two. All right guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to use the last couple pieces and how to adjust your bar to the height that you want it. So the easiest place to start adjusting your bar is actually from the middle. So when you pick up this side, this one doesn't get stuck. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna grab it and you're gonna watch the little hole right here and then adjust it to the size that you want and you're gonna watch right there. So now you see that your hole and it's up to as much as you want and you are going to twist your little side pieces to the right so then it tightens it and it keeps it in place so you can even out your bar to the height that you want it. And I'm going to make sure it goes all the way in so my bar doesn't fall down when I'm trying to do it. Make sure this one's in line. Yep, it's definitely in line. And we're going to go ahead and twist this one too. So now, your bar is pretty sturdy. All right guys, so your bar may be pretty sturdy looking, but do not use it yet because it will fall down and definitely you will fall. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna take our last pieces and we're gonna put it together. You're gonna find the side that has the bigger hole on it, duck under my bar here, and you're going to stick it through one of the metal poles. And you're actually gonna try to line it up with the hole over here. Now for me, it lined right up. But you may have to loosen this piece so it actually lines up. <laughs> My friends are calling me over there. So you're gonna take it, and go here, and you're going to twist it over this way. So it tightens up. And this is what keeps your bar from actually like falling. 
There we go. Very easy spin. So you're actually gonna do the same exact thing on the other side over here. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. You're gonna take it and push it through. Then you're just gonna loosen it, or tighten it, sorry. You're going to do the same thing as you did on the other side. It may take a couple seconds to get it even, but you wanna make sure it's actually even so it doesn't just pop off. And there you go. That is how you assemble your bar. And as I said, make sure you tighten every bolt, every screw, everything in here so it does not fall. And yeah, that is my gymnastics bars. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to put my mat under here, but let me see if I can still actually do my thing where I get up. There we go. And that's how you assemble your gymnastics bar from Gym Mats Direct. Honestly, I think I'll be using this thing pretty much all the time. And as I said, the link down below will be in the description if you want to buy one of these bars for yourself. Anyways, my name is Julie, and I will see all of you guys in the next video.